Hi everyone, it's Tara Bianca with Be Light Transformative Therapy. And today I want to share with you a simple scalp release technique which feels super amazing. This technique would be awesome as a self-care tool for anyone who's really dealing with things like jaw pain, neck pain, even more sensory organ pain, pain around the eyes, pain around the ears, as well as someone who's dealing with a lot of mental exhaustion or a posture that's always being manipulated continuously by staring at the phone or staring at the computer. This session is going to consist of a lot of hair pulls. I know, I know, it doesn't sound very therapeutic, but we can actually use the hair as a sort of handle to manipulate and release the muscles and fascia of the scalp, and along with it, release a lot of tension. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around and we'll jump in. The one caveat to today's session is that you do actually need to have enough hair on your head to actually get a grip. So for all of you who are watching who maybe don't have quite enough hair to grab onto, I promise to make a second scalp release video for you in the near future that is more suited to your particular needs. But for today, if you've got at least a couple of handfuls of hair and a curiosity to try out this technique for releasing neck, head, face, and jaw pain, then let's go try it out. Okay guys, so I know I say this every video, but I really mean it today. I really don't wanna to get too intense into the anatomy of the skull today. So instead, let me just offer you a couple anatomical highlights so you can at least understand why this technique might be effective in the first place. The biggest feature for you to make note of is your epicranial aponeurosis. This is a piece of connective tissue or fascia that connects your occiput all the way to your frontal bone. It kind of connects right above the eyebrows. So you have an occipitalis muscle right on your occiput or the base of your skull, and you have a frontalis muscle right on the forehead, and the two of them are connected by this piece of connective tissue. And today when we're manipulating the hair and manipulating the scalp, I assure you, you are 100% going to feel this connection between the back and the front of the skull. And then besides that, just know that you have a lot of skeletal muscles on your skull that are contributing to voluntary movements. Movements like your facial expressions, they also have an influence on the muscles of mastication or chewing. And then a lot of these muscles also drop down into and have an influence on the movements of the throat, the neck, and the shoulders. I'll be sure to include just a couple images for you so that you can get a sense of this region. Okay, so we're going to bit by bit move all around the skull. We're going to hit about 10 different points on the skull, but this is not a perfect science. I really want to invite you to feel into what feels good for you. We're really not going to be obsessed at all with exact anatomical position today. We're really just exploring different release points on our own skull and noticing where we feel those in the rest of the body. So here we go. We're gonna start all along the ears. So we're gonna start up front. We're gonna take three points. So you're gonna grab your hair. We're gonna mess up our hair real good today. Okay, so I'm grabbing my hair, yeah? You don't wanna grab your hair out here. So it's really not a actual hair pull. We're thinking about pulling the scalp. So you wanna get as close as you can. So if you can see, my knuckles are right up against my skull. So I get my fingers in there and I'm just squeezing my hands into fists and you can see the skin around my eyes starting to pull. So that's step one. I'm just squeezing, connecting to that tissue. And then once I have a good grip on it, I can pull both hands backwards and feel that pulling into my face. I can pull both hands forward pulling on the rest of the scalp. I can pull both hands up towards the ceiling, dragging kind of away from my ears. 
And then I can pull both hands down. So if you feel like you have a strand of hair that you're really catching and that's feeling uncomfortable, just regrip. It should feel pretty comfortable. Actually, it shouldn't feel like you're pulling a single hair on your head. Good. Now we can manipulate in different directions. I'm going to do right hand up and left hand down. Now, as I'm doing this, I can start to even create some lateral flexion with my neck. So I'm really starting to stretch into the neck and the jaw, not just the um, scalp itself. And while you're here, I can really feel this starting to pull on my right TMJ. I might want to add in a little range of motion of the jaw itself, opening and closing gently. So our hands are right over the temporalis muscle right now, which is one of your primary muscles of mastication or chewing. I'm just going to the other side. So I'm pulling my right fist down and pushing my left fist up. And I'm laterally bending my neck to the, I'm very bad with left and right, the right. <laughs> it's a 50-50 shot and I get it wrong almost 100% of the time. So now I'm pulling my left fist up towards the ceiling, side bending my neck. And I'm just gonna open and close my jaw a few times. And I really feel this pulling into the left side of my jaw. Good. And now we can do one fist forward, one fist back. So right now I'm bringing my left forward and my right back. So just straining and counter straining. We're giving like counter pulls through the scalp and reversing that, pulling the right fist forward and the left fist back. And then we can also just do little circles on each side, really moving that tissue around, noticing where we feel it. Good. And now we're gonna do that same thing. We're just gonna move back a little bit. So we were right in the front of the ear and now we're gonna be kind of mid ear where the peak of the ear is. So I'm just moving back a couple inches. I'm re-gripping. My knuckles are touching my scalp. Like I really feel my uh, fingers on my head, right? And I'm squeezing into a fist and that's all it takes. I don't need to pull it all. I just squeeze my fists and I feel that traction. And same thing, I'm pulling both hands away from each other, pulling directly out. I can take both hands back. I can bring both hands forward. I can bring both hands up towards the ceiling. And I can pull both of them down towards the ground. And now we'll take the left fist down and the right fist up. We can put that side bend back in. And now you can even play around with a little bit of rotation maybe. You feel where you feel that stretch, where you feel that release. Explore a little. And you can start opening and closing the jaw again, seeing if you Notice the same sort of release, the same sort of tension. I feel it a little bit less now, but I still feel it. And going the other way, right fist towards the earth, left fist towards the ceiling, playing around with the position of the neck. Where do you feel the most release? Opening and closing the jaw. Good, coming back center. You can bring one forward and one back. You can bring the other one forward and the other one back. This time I'm rotating my head with it. It just feels like the natural thing to do. And now we can do a little bit of a circle on each side. You can go in either direction. Really good. Okay, we're gonna do one more spot behind the ear, so let's go for really behind the ear this time. So, now I'm still on my temporal bone, but I can tell I'm starting to pick up a little bit of my occipital bone too. 
So if those words don't mean anything to you, check out the uh, few images that I included in the beginning of, the, um, of this discussion of the session. And I'm just exploring, I'm squeezing into a fist. Let's drag both fists up towards the ceiling. And notice that draws your chin to your chest, it draws my chin to my chest anyway. And now maybe you're pulling both towards the earth. Good. And maybe you're pulling both forward towards your face. And maybe you're pulling both fists backwards towards each other. Good. And we can try bringing the right fist down and left fist up this time with a little bit of side bend. I kind of want to go into a little bit of neck flexion as well with this one. Just feels like it makes more sense. And now notice if you open your jaw here, you don't feel that connection as much anymore, right? And now right fist towards the ceiling, left fist towards the earth. Maybe bring the chin towards the chest a little bit into a little bit of flexion. Get the shoulders down away from the ears. So the shoulders are creating a sort of counter stretch there. Mm. Awesome. Coming back center. Let's start to move around the hairline now a little bit. So we worked all around the ears. Let's come to like the, the diagonal, if you will. Right, so one hand on either side, just to the sides of midline. Grabbing the hair. So I've got my uh, fingers touching my scalp and I'm just squeezing. And I know it looks kind of crazy, but I'm happy to look goofy for you guys if it helps. <laughs> it feels really amazing. <laughs> so what it looks like is sort of irrelevant. Good, so you can see I'm squeezing enough that it starts to pull the skin around my eyes, right? And we can pull back a little bit with both fists. Notice what it's doing with your breathing. And then you can pull both fists forward towards your forehead. So kind of wrinkling the forehead a little. And then maybe we could bring the right fist up and the left fist down. And it's just exploration, so if you go the opposite way of me, that's fine, no big deal. And then maybe we go the other way, left fist up, right fist down. Hmm. And then maybe we do a little bit of rotation with this one, making little circles. Mm. Great. Now let's take one hand and we'll go dead center, right? So just picking up what you can right at the hairline, right in the middle. Mm. So I'm squeezing my fist and now I'm just gonna draw back. So I immediately feel my forehead lengthen and open. So we're really working over that epicranial aponeurosis that I was talking about in the beginning, that piece of cranial fascia that connects frontalis to occipitalis. Mm. And then you can pull it forward, right? So now we're pulling into the occipital end of this piece of fascia. You might not feel it as strongly. We're much closer to the forehead now, but you should still feel it pulling to the back of the head a little. So right now my fist is hanging down towards the forehead. And then maybe we'll take it to the right. You can rotate your head or side bend your head if you want. And maybe we'll take it to the left. And here again, I like to twist a little bit. So I'm twisting in one direction. And 
and I'm twisting in the other direction. And noticing what changes you feel happening in your breathing and in your body while you're doing this. Do you feel the tension releasing? Do you feel yourself getting more relaxed? Do you feel yourself getting more energized? Do you feel yourself waking up? What's the response? Okay, good. So now we already worked in the hairline on the diagonal, but let's go back on top of the skull a little bit more, but in that same line. So just grabbing whatever hair you can, you're on either side of the skull. Ladies, it's as if you're pulling up like a half ponytail. I don't know hairdo terms, but <laughs> I think you know what I mean. So pulling the fists back. So you're pulling back towards the base of the skull. You can probably see my eyes pulling, right? So you might even close and open your eyes and you'll definitely feel that pulling into the face. And then pulling the fists forward towards the forehead. Mm. And then maybe the right fist up and the left fist down. And then switch, maybe the right fist down and the left fist up. And when you side bend like this, you can really relax the arm that's on the bottom, let gravity start to take over. Good. I'm just going to re-grip because I'm losing my hair a little here. And then we can also just twist in opposite directions. Mm. And you can twist the other way if your wrist allows it. Mm. Awesome. And so now uh, we worked right in the hairline dead center. Let's go back into the middle of the skull again. I'm gonna switch to my left hand this time since I used my right hand last time. And just in the center of the skull, I'm just grabbing again. I'm gripping like this and I feel the hair, the scalp right against these parts of my uh, digits, right? This part of the digit, this flat part here. And with this left hand now I can Pull back, I feel it pulling through my forehead. And when you practice this on your own, don't be too particular about it, thinking about the position, just move around the hair like you're massaging your scalp and just play around in different areas. It doesn't have to be a formal thing. Bringing the fist down towards my forehead. I can tell this is relaxing me because I'm making less sense with my words. <laughs> the more relaxed I get during these videos when I'm teaching bodywork techniques, the more I start to trip on my, my words. Okay, we can go to the right. We can come back to the left. Good. And then let's do one more, kind of where the ponytail would be. So get both hands kind of back on that apex of the skull, that sort of high point of the skull. So if you had a high ponytail, kind of shoot for that spot. I'm going with both hands. I'm squeezing. I feel that part of my fingers making contact with my skull. I feel the hair tractioning away from the skull. And we can pull the fists back, can take the head with you. And you can pull forward towards the forehead. And you can go right hand up, left hand down. And going to the other side, right hand down, left hand up.
And then we can twist away from each other. Good. And I just want to do a couple more spots. So now let's head back to the occiput more, to the base of the skull. So grabbing under the hair, right? So as if you were going to put up a ponytail, grab underneath, right on the base of the skull and grab with both your hands. Mmm, feels so good. So I'm squeezing, I'm connecting into that skull tissue. And now let's think about pulling towards the forehead. And you might even take your head with you, dropping your chin to your chest. And notice if you feel this pulling into your neck, if you feel this pulling down into your mid back at all. Then let's take the fists in the other direction, pull the head back with you. And I'm just letting my arms hang. Letting gravity help me. Good, I'm just going to re-grip because I'm losing my grip. And now we can separate the fists, pulling them apart. So they're wrapping around this way. And then pulling them toward each other. So I feel it pulling away from my ear. Good, and I have to regrip one more time, sorry. And then maybe let's twist here. So I'm twisting up towards the ceiling. Good. And let's take one more. So you were in the occiput. Let's just move up a little bit higher and regrip. So I'm on the real back of my skull right now and I'm squeezing. I feel it pulling into my skull. Good. We can come forward, tractioning the fists up towards the ceiling. Feels pretty good. And then dropping the fists down and back. Mm. And then separating the fists away from each other. If anything hurts or feels like it's pulling your hair too much, just regrip or just change the direction. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. And then bringing the fists toward one another. Mm. Mm. Awesome job. Good. So I want to do one more thing with you, but for a moment, just pause and take stock of what you're feeling in this moment. How are you feeling? Do you feel like that helped to release any tension through the head, through the eyes, through the jaw, through the face, through the neck, through the shoulders? What are you noticing? And if you're not noticing anything, that's okay too. Maybe you had a little bit of pain or headache before this session and maybe you notice it's diminished. Maybe you feel really energized all of a sudden. Maybe getting rid of some of that tension through the scalp helped help to wake you up a little bit. And maybe the opposite. Maybe finally relieving some of that tension has really knocked you out and put you into kind of nap mode. So just noticing.
Okay, so for those of you who are feeling a little more adventurous and you wanna try one final technique, I'm gonna invite you to stand up on your feet with me. We're gonna fold at the waist, do a forward fold, and we're gonna use gravity to help us pull the hair toward the ground. This is kind of nice because it allows your hands and your arms to really relax. They just act as extra weight for creating that pull through the fascia and the musculature. I think you'll really enjoy it. Okay, so here we are in our forward fold. If this is comfortable for you, if this is not a comfortable position for you, then I wouldn't recommend doing this exercise in this way. But if it is comfortable for you, what I really like about it is that this epicranial aponeurosis really fascially starts to connect into the paraspinal muscles of the back, down into the glutes, down into the lateral hamstring, and continues down into the Achilles tendon and into the base of the feet under the toes. So this is kind of a nice way of getting that entire superficial back line that can feel really relieving. So again, there's no rules when you're down here. I usually just start in the center. I think you can see me. I'm just grabbing kind of on those diagonals again. And I'm just grabbing and I'm just letting gravity take over. Mm. And so this feels really nice. For me, I feel like I get a little bit of spinal decompression. My neck really starts to open up and relax. And I don't have to work so hard with my arms and my hands. I can really just hang. Okay, we'll just take a few random spots. Don't get too crazy about it. I'm working my way out closer to my ears now. And I'm just hanging. If it gets a little too intense through the hamstrings, you can take a slight bend in the knees. You know, you can focus your attention to different parts of the chain. So straightening my knees gives me a different sensation. Rounding my back a little bit more gives me a different sensation. Play around with where you feel like you need to open the most. And then I'm gonna regrip again. I'm working my way back. So now I'm kind of at the side of the ears, working my way towards the base of the skull. You can really flex your chin towards your chest. And then you can also just relax, allowing, allowing that head to be really heavy, the hands and the arms to be heavy. And then let's go back to the occiput itself, so really getting at the base of the skull and hanging. Again, noticing what your breath is doing. Where do you feel yourself opening? And then let's take one more spot, kind of right in the middle of everything. So again, sort of where that high ponytail might sit and just really pulling yourself down towards the earth. Great job. I hope you enjoyed that sort of weird technique and that you had fun exploring the muscles and fascia of the skull and how it connects into other parts of your body. So how do you feel? Let me know in the comments below. Know that it's very normal whenever we do any type of body work for all manner of sensations to come up. It's very bio-individual, but also within your own body itself, your body will respond differently depending on the day and your particular needs on that day. You might feel super relaxed, you might feel a little sleepy, or you might feel really pumped and energized right now. It's all good no matter what. You go through your own process. If you had any negative effects come up, maybe like a slight headache, maybe it was a little bit too much work too quickly, please just make sure you get some good quality sleep and I promise those symptoms will resolve very quickly. 
If you have any specific questions or concerns, or you'd just like to see more bodywork techniques like this one, please drop all of that into the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider sharing it with a friend and please subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to check out my totally free Breath Basics six day challenge, my next four week breath boot camp, which starts in March. And remember, I'm offering my YouTube viewers 20% off with code bootcamp20. And also check out my private online Be Light community. And lastly, if you'd like to donate to my channel, you may do so by visiting my Buy Me a Coffee page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.